today for another game review and today I'm very excited checking out Escape the Room Mystery at the Stargazer's Manor. This is from Think Fun. It's for three to eight players. It'll take about 90 minutes to play and it's for ages 10 plus and this is an attempt to recreate the feel of an escape room but in a board game. So this is going to be a completely spoiler-free review where I will be talking very broadly about what the game is and why I like slash dislike the game. But it's a very ambitious thing. An escape room, if you don't know, is a room where you're, uh, you're locked in there and you have to solve various different puddles, puzzles and riddles in order to get yourself out. They tried to recreate it in a box. Did it work? Let's open it up and I'll tell you. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Escape the Room. So before we get started, I do want to mention that I'm not going to be showing you much at all. I'm going to try to keep this completely spoiler free, so I'm just going to give you the broadest of broad things. So you're going to have uh, this guy right here, which is going to be your guide. It's going to show you how you start off the game, how you set everything up, and it's going to show you how this spinny wheel will work, and then it will set you on your way. You're going to start with one... Uh, one thing that is very, very simple, and really it's just going to show you how this spinny wheel works. And then that, from, from that point on, you're going to have a series of envelopes that will look like this. They're going to have various different things on them, and inside of those envelopes, there are going to be other things inside of them, like maps of stars and, you know, things that you're going to have to construct, and cool stuff like that that you're going to be putting together to try and solve riddles and figure out clues. And when you think you have an answer to those clues, you're going to spin this wheel to the various different spots, and there will be four colors you'll have to spin up. And then from time to time, let's see if we can get one. Uh, there should be... Oh, let's see if we can get lucky. No, nope, of course we can't get lucky. Oh, there. Eh, maybe. No. So what's going to happen is, eventually you're going to see little symbols that are going to poke through these holes right here. And when you get two symbols that match through those holes, that will mean you have successfully filled, uh, figured out a clue. So for instance, you might have this lock box right here, and you might tr be trying to figure out how to open it by putting in the combination of this guy. And what will eventually happen is you will have a suitcase right here, and maybe a suitcase right here pop up, and that will let you know that you have successfully unlocked this lockbox, which means you will open the envelope, and inside of the envelope there will be more things, more clues, more story, which will look like this. And this is the very first scene of that, where you investigate the manor. And like I mentioned, it's gonna hold your hand and tell you exactly what to do when you first start with all this red text, but as you progress later into the game, it will not hold your hand at all, and I'm not going to show you anything there, but as you can see, it will become more and more difficult as you progress through the game. But that, in a nutshell, very short nutshell, is how Escape the Room is played. Alrighty then, Escape the Room from Think Fun. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the cons side, the game is not good for everybody for a lot of different reasons. First one is, once you've played through Escape the Room, you're probably not going to be craving to play through it again, you know, because you have... You've seen the story, and you've done the puzzles, and yes, there are three different endings that you could potentially have, but you know the entire story, and you know how to do the puzzles, so that is going to be a turnoff to some people. Also, this, this kind of goes hand in hand with that. This game is not like Pandemic Legacy. Say, Pandemic Legacy, once you get done playing it, you're done. You can't play it anymore. It's just pretty much trash. This you can put everything back into the envelopes that they, they go to, and you can replay this or resell this or give it to another game group so they can play this. But uh, Think Fun didn't include like a little guide on where all the different pieces go, because let me tell you, there are lots of different pieces, and you're not going to be able to remember which pieces go into which envelopes, and I feel like that was a big missed opportunity. So I hope they do an online FAQ that will show you where all the pieces go so you can put them back in the envelope and, you know, do this again with a different group potentially um so yes some more cons three to eight players i would never ever ever recommend this with six seven or eight players we played with five players and i feel like three to five is definitely the sweet spot with this game and the main reason why is there's only so much people are going to be doing at a time so if you have seven or eight players you're gonna have people who are just doing nothing you know there's you know especially if there's like an alpha gamer who's like trying to take over and do the puzzle you know, they're just going to be sitting there, bored, and you don't want that in a game. So I would be wary if you're planning on playing this with more than six players. 
Another con that I have with this is go into it knowing that this is ages 10 plus and I feel like this is best suited as a family experience. Now that being said, I'm going to tell you that I like this game and I enjoy this game and I'm going to recommend this game in the pros, but this is definitely easier than I was hoping it would be. We, uh, we played it with five players, two of which were they've actually done a couple different escape rooms like they're big fans of escape rooms and we blew through this thing in 50 minutes and just know that it's an easier experience if you if your brain works like that any other cons i have let's see i'm trying to make sure i got everything because I'm, I'm going to tell you i really like this but there are some definite cons going on with this game oh that that's another thing it's not really oh that's a big one. If you're coming into this expecting this to actually be like an escape room where you're going to have to organize your room in different ways and hide things around the room and so people can find them, it's not like that. This is like a big cooperative puzzly experience on a table. You don't even have to stand up at all. So if you're coming into this expecting it to be the kind of thing where you're going to get up and be looking for things, you're going to be disappointed. So moving on to the pros though. I enjoyed Escape the Room. Now, I had high, high, high expectations for this. I was very excited about this. Was I let down? Yes, I was a little bit. But then I sat back. I, we played it, and everybody was like, yeah, that was a fun experience. But then I was like, yeah, but was it a fun experience for how much it cost? You essentially get one gameplay, and then you're done. And then I started to think about it if I was playing this instead of with my game group, but with a family. Say, with, you know, two kids that are 10 and 11. This would be a fantastic family experience, and Think Fun is focused on families. So, clearly I have to review it from that standpoint. And from that standpoint, if you're looking at this as a family game night experience, this would be fantastic, and I absolutely recommend Escape the Room. Uh, and I think if you're playing with, with youngins, you know, I would recommend, they say ages 10 plus, I think that's right about right. You would not want to go any younger than that. But I feel like if you were playing this with younger kids that say 10 11 12 13 14 teenagers even they would have a blast with this this would be a lot of fun and i can't wait to put it back together and play it with some of the kids that i volunteer with because uh, i volunteer with some kids this summer we're going to be aged 10 to 13 and i think they will have an absolute blast with this so if you're looking at this from a family game perspective absolutely no brainer check this one out if you're looking at this as a game night experience though I'll point to my cons and say, be wary, be aware that it's going to be fun. You're going to enjoy yourself, but you're not going to have as much fun as you probably would expect you would. So, Escape the Room, Mystery at Stargazer's Manor. I like it. Great components. The story is good. It's not fantastic, but it's a good story. Three different endings. The puzzles are fun. Some of them are somewhat difficult. And overall, I can definitely recommend this if you're in the market for a family game. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know, have you ever done an escape room? For me personally, I have not. I want to. I really do want to. After playing this, I, I want to even more. Part of the problem is my wife isn't interested in this sort of thing. Like, we have another guy in my game group who's big into it, and I would love to do it with him sometime, but I'd like my wife to go with me. So let me know in the comments below, escape rooms. Have you done them? What are your thoughts on them? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.